So hi there everyone, uh, we will continue with our lessons in psychological statistics and in this video we're going to quickly show on how to solve the measures of non-central positions or measures of non-central locations. So these measures are also known as fractiles or quantiles. Uh, the what they do is they locate the position of certain non-central pieces of data relative to the entire set of the data. So how we will interpret them is that the values below which a specific fraction or percentage of the obs observation in a given set must fall. So given a, a number with this, it will tell us how many percent of, uh, of the overall data relative to the overall set um, the, the this percentage falls under what certain number so the most common fractiles are the quartiles deciles and percentiles start with the quartiles so when you say quartiles um pretty much <clears throat> have the same prefix as the word quarter so what we are doing here is we divide the whole set into four equal parts so imagine if we have four equal parts right here we are having three uh, cuts or three slices in order for us to arrive at these four equal parts. So these slices that we have, we call them Q1, Q2, Q3. So Q1 means whatever the value of Q1 is, it tells you about 25 that 25% of the data falls below that value, 50% uh, of the data falls below the value of Q2, and 75% of the data falls below Q3. Um, how we get it if we're going to solve it uh, manually is that first we need to uh, put them in an array. That's number one. Number two is we need to find the ith quartile. Um, we will be using this formula. Actually, the how we solve the quartiles, deciles, and percentiles are similar on how we solve the, uh, the median, only that the median is a special case wherein we will really look at the middle value. So where k is the the position of the ith quartile in the ordered data set or the number of observations below this ith quartile and i is the whatever the ith quartile you want so first second or third okay <clears throat> which will tell you the first quartile second quartile third quartile respectively so n is the number of observation in uh, the data set so these are just key ter key things that you need to understand the same basic thing you need to do when dealing with the median okay but uh what we're going to do here i'm going to show you how to solve for the quartiles these are the percentiles using jamovi which will ease up ease things up a bit so example we will try to put these uh following lives of 15 car batteries in years and we will be trying to get the first quartile uh let's let's uh let's reserve this in a while before we will solve this using a movie uh, just think that we're going to solve for the first quartile okay let's first um go ahead with these aisles right now so these aisles is where we divide the distribution or the set of those observation into 10 equal parts so if we will divide it into 10 equal parts we will slice the observation into nine slices so we call each slice to be d1 d2 d3 up until d9 over here and how we interpret them are as follows. Basically, if you have a score for D9, it means that 90% of the data falls below that value. If you have D7, for instance, 70% of the data falls below that value. Um, how we get them is exactly the same way how we solve the quartiles and how we solve the, the median in that manner. Um, the only thing that will change is the kth element or the ith element. It will be divided by 10 since we divide a this is distribution into 10 parts so it will be i over 10 times n and anyway we're gonna use jamovi in doing that so just hold on to this thought we need to get the first quartile and then the fourth decile in this instance anyways it's still the same data so we're going to show that all in jamovi lastly but not the least are the percentiles percentiles from the word percentum or percent which means per hundred so um you know what what happens so we divide the set of observations into 100 parts meaning we have 99 slices all in all the interpretation pretty much is the same as the quartiles and these aisles if you're going to look at it and um okay, let's move on 
it's solved the same way as we solve for the quartiles, the sounds and the median, um, only that the, the kth element is different. And we'll have this example. Okay, so we'll get the 83rd percentile this time. Uh, we're also going to get the first quartile and the fourth decile. Of course, there are relationships between these three. We can imagine that the most detailed one is the percentiles. Decile is divided by 10, quartiles is div divided by 4. So, uh, of course, there are certain things that they will be equal to. So, when you say D10, it will be equal to P10 because when you divide the, the set of observations into 99 parts or into 100 parts, the 10th the part will coincide with the D10, with the first cut of the deciles. Um, on the other, on, on the same manner, when you cut on the percentile to so the 20th part, you will also arrive at this D2, okay, the second decile. And likewise, your first quartile, which is the first cut, you know, if you're going to divide the set of observations into four parts, uh, basically this will be 25, 25, 25, 25 to make it equal. So the first cut will arrive at Q1, which is 25th, um, 25th uh, step, shall we say, if we're going to look at it in the point of view of the person styles. And um, the same thing happens to all the things here that I've inputted. You just need to have this, of course, this red row here, which is a special case. Your Q2 is equal to your D5, which is equal to your P50. Um, this is the only part wherein the quartiles, deciles, and percentiles are equal. And of course, this is special because actually this is your median. Your median is your middlemost part and wherein, of course, they're equal right there. Okay. So um, that's the end of the presentation, but of course it will not be finished if I haven't um, shown to you how to do that in Jamovi. And here we go. The data are already here. I have um, typed it already. What you need to do in order for us to get the the first quartile, the fourth decile, and the 83rd percentile, you need to go to the analysis tab, click on expiration, and click on the descriptives after that. Pretty much, we're going to drag the car batteries in years in the variable box. That's going to be the first step. Um, okay. Um, click on and just drag down statistics. It will give us these things here. We're going to uncheck the things that we don't really need. By default, Jamovi checks them. We just need to undo that. And we can see here under the sample size, we have the percentile values. So we have two options. We can cut the points into, for example, we will cut it into four equal parts. So it will show us the quartiles basically, but the the the, the terms that is being shown are the percentiles. That's why we need to understand percentile first before we go into here. So we know that this is Q1, which is equal to P25, P50, P75, uh, Q2, Q3 respectively. So we can see the values here, uh, meaning, for this one, the 25th percentile, 2.8250, so let's just call it uh, 2.8, for example. How we will interpret them is that 25% of the car batteries in years fall below 2.8, okay? 50% of the car batteries in years fall below 3.1, and 75% of the car batteries in years fall below 3.3. And of course, uh, you can get the complement. 25% fall above or lies above 3.3. Okay, so that's basically how we do that. The maximum here for Jamovi is 10. We cannot, I cannot go beyond 10, but um, you can see if, you're, if it's gonna be 10, we are, you're gonna show it's gonna show all the D. So we have D1, D2, D3, D4 up until D9. Okay, so there you go. Um, that's it. But you can actually, there's another option. We cannot put a hundred here. The maximum is is uh, is uh, ten. So you know this is this. Jamovi tells us it's all, it should be only two to ten. All right. So we're gonna follow that. But we can actually input specific percentiles, where whatever percentile we want. So recall that in the exercises we want the Q1, which is the 25th percentile. I'm gonna type it down comma, the fourth D cell, which is P40 equivalent, and of course the 83rd percentile, hit enter, and you will see the values which must be shown here, which is still loading. Okay, so patience is a virtue. It's still loading. Okay, any time now? 
So anyhow, um, how do we interpret them? So whatever we got in the 25th percentile, whatever that value is, um, 25% of the data or the better cars in years fall below that value. For the D40, I think we can still see here 3.1. For the D40, uh, meaning 40% of the values fall below that number or that year, 3.1, meaning 40% uh, is below 3.1, and 60% lie above 3.1. That's how we interpret it. And for the 83, 83% of it falls um, below that number, whatever that number is, because we cannot produce it right now. Um, and, uh, you know, the complement is 17. 17% um, goes above that value. So here we go here. So a little bit of error happening here. Again. You know, uh, just so you know, I'm recording my screen, so it will take some time to to load your movie. Okay, here we go. So let's just give this a go for the 83rd. 80, this is wrong. The third percentile. Th um, 83 below, 83 percent of the data fall below 3.4 years and 17 percent fall above 3.4 years so that's how we end up our values or how we interpret the values of the percentiles fractals and um you know overall the measures of non-general position so thank you very much for watching i hope you learned something here and uh see you in the next video goodbye